hi everyone welcome back to everything data analytics and in this tutorial i'm going to walk you through on how to create and set up a temporary organization email which you are going to be using to sign up for your power bi high service which is absolutely free so i've had a lot of question i've had a lot of people asking me on how to get a power bi account if they, if they, they don't have company email or they cannot use their personal email to create that and then here is a solution to that i found a solution to this and i'm going to be working you throughout to create a power bi free account and even if you don't have an organization temporary email so the first thing that you are going to be doing is to go to google Go to Google and Google and then search for temp email. Temp email. Email. Then once you search for that, you click on it. Once you click on it, this is verified. If you are human, you can be seeing the same thing. So click on verification. To verify that verification successful so now your temporary we are in this window page and your temporary email address is being loaded so once it's loaded you just need to copy it so now this is the temporary email address that i have so all i need to do is to copy this now i've copied you click here and copy that has been copied so the next thing is to sign up for power bi service account then you go to power be high power be high dot com so once you click that you begin your or uh, registration for creating power bi free account so now the next thing you are going to do is to paste the organization email that you have created that you have generated that's the next thing that you are going to be doing so now submit once you submitted you now submit this now you have submitted so now it will take you to where you will fill all the necessary detail that has been requested to generate your power bi account so the next thing is to click on next okay it's asking us to create to do this so now it's saying pick one square that show two identical order so now you are just going to do that anything that is bringing for you you are going to be also doing it so i think this is this for me so now that's verification so the next thing now is to yes it's asking what kind of email is this so you have to click on organization email because it's a temporary organization email so click on next Click on there, you fill your name. So I'm going to be filling a different name. Okay, I can fill, yeah, let me fill my name. Let me fill my name. Then choose your, choose your state that you have. So I'm going to choose my state, which, which is Nigeria. So now this, just remove the zero that is there in your, this is my email uh, my so job title data analyst so now now you have to create a password you create a password now i want to create a temporary password for that i'm going to be creating a temporary password for that temporary password for that so I'll just create oh yeah. So you to just create a temporary password. So doing the same thing for this confer. So now verification code. So go back to that your temporary email. Verification code has been sent there. So that's where you will pick your verification code. This is the verification code. So my verification code is 312809. So go back here and paste 
3112809. So let me go and recheck that. So if this is where you get your verification. So you scroll down and get it under this place. So now you can check this, then click on next. Click on then it's signing us in. So I can just change it here so that I can save my password save my password so get started get started so you say action require so click on next click on and you can just set up your authentication you can do that so now you can scan your you can scan this do the same thing scan this you can use your camera to scan it So you can use your uh, Google Authenticator to scan this, which I'm going to be using for my. I'm going to scan this. So this has been scanned. So I'll do the same. So that has been approved. I've scanned that. Click on done. You do the same thing. And then click stay signing. Yes. So now it's trying to sign me in now to power bi accounts so it's is loading on power bi my power bi service account so now this assignment here now. This is Power BI. I'm now in Power BI service now. This is Power BI service. So if I open Power BI desktop now, assuming I have this Power BI desktop now, I already have my sign in here, and then I use a different account using a different account. Copy that email. If I paste that email that I use, paste, then continue, and then I put my password it will sign me here so now to ask for my signing detail that's google so i want to use a different account so to use this so i will enter my password there then signing now it has signed me here it will definitely show you you can see now it has signed me here you can see now so i can use from here now i can go to i can use this to go to power bi service i can share and that's it you've now created a power bi service account using a free temporary email if this helped you kindly drop a comment below like the video video 
make sure that you subscribe to my channel it is very important subscribe to my channel for more data analysis tutorial and if this expires after 60 days you can decide to create another temporary email temporary email thanks for watching stay on this channel for more data and everything on data analytics contest to explore more on my page check all that tutorial on my page bye